Hello, Boris Pravisham here, and welcome back to Grid Auto Sport Time Trials. Today, I'm going to be doing the Aerial Atom V8 Cup again on the Memorial Run track in Barcelona. Let's have a little look at the, the leaderboard, and uh, I have never played this track before uh, on any game. 136 is what I'm aiming for. The last track, yeah, the, this isn't the most popular of games, so games, so there's often not that many people. Um, it looks like, no matter what, I'll come in the top 50, which tends to be my aim, but 358 compared to... Whoops. What did I do there? I don't know what that button did. 358 is obviously just someone crashing everywhere. Um, so let's just take a roundabout guess, maybe about 25. If I finish in the top half here, I'll be happy. So 154.8 is my target. Uh, I could use it as a target, like the left mouse uh, left left bumper thing should we do that eh, let's give it a go we use them as a target so I'm assuming that means their ghost will appear um, I was sitting here trying to remember the time it was 158 wasn't it it's was going over in my head 158, 158, 158, and then I took one look away from the computer and it was gone. But I think it's 158. Uh, again, I have no idea how to tune for this track. There's only a couple of tracks here that I do know how to. So we're racing Joe, Joe, J. Thompson. Um, it's going to take me a few laps to get anywhere near that, though, because I have no knowledge of this course. So it looks like we're going through a chicane here. We'll just go through through fairly fast. Okay, so this is a rounded... Okay, and so his... I thought it would be nice if the, the ghost showed up. I was pretty, I'm pretty sure I've used that before where a ghost has shown up. Maybe one of his didn't save or something. Another bumpy track. This one's a uh, uh, yeah, I, I much prefer touring car street circuits to the these sort of open wheel ones. I know I'm in an open wheel category, but that's just you know what the aerial atoms in. Um, oh yeah, I might try one of the touring car categories at some stage. I'm, uh, I'm assuming different sorts of tracks will be open to them. Oh. Just nice and smooth. Just get this first one out of the way. Try not to hit the walls. This one looks like it should be full speed. Okay. Am I really up on his time, or is that? I don't know. the The information they put up on this on the screen isn't uh, very useful. And it's difficult to see. Well, I mean, it's useful if you've got time to sit there and analyze it um, in a little more. Um, well, it doesn't take much analyzing, but uh, you know what I mean to sit there and have a little bit more of a look at it. It needs to be faster and clearer. Okay, so I've beaten his time already. That wasn't hard. Again, I didn't see the, the usual suspects. Oh, I hate these sorts of corners, these large rounded ones. They reek of Formula One. And if something's common in Formula One, you know that they're born. Didn't seem to be the fastest way to get through there, but often in those those tight little oh. yeah, I, oh, sorry, I sort of lost my tra train of thought there. That's another annoying 
sort of long winding corner. Oh, I didn't need to slow down there anywhere near as much as I just did. Um, yeah, in, in the tight little spots where the sort of chicane leading into the... I've forgotten the shape of the track now. And they sort of remind me of a sort of a bus stop sort of... yeah. Um, they're, they're often a place where you get some very messy racing. Um, often the, the fastest is just whatever happens to, to come out. It, it's sometimes difficult to, to get them right. Interesting. Right, so I've got one of these. We're going to slow down. And do this long winding. Don't put them on a street circuit. Uh, put more corners like this. Much more conducive to better racing. Through, whoa, just got the left front tire caught on the the the, uh, the, the ripple strip. It sent me flying back the other way. Alright, so I can hit this a lot faster than I did last time. I think, yeah, that one can be done a lot lot faster, although there is a kink in the, the fence back there, and that. Oh, that same there. There's a. Uh, can be rather deadly. Oh, oh, oh. Misjudging how wide the car is. So obviously you want to get as close to you can as you can to the, the fences. Use up every part of the track. See, apart from the, 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 those two corners, this is a nice, nice sort of track you could easily use for a touring car. Sort style race. Of course, I mostly hate these sort of corners because they're... I'm no good at them. Mm. Of course, because we have no damage, that uh, didn't really lose me much time. Can't wait to play a track I actually know again. Oh. Let's set it it's fun learning new tracks. Add to my repertoire and whatnot. Oh no. Right, I've got to slow down here. Okay, so we're halfway through. Let's see. I think I might um, stop. I'll add a little bit of time on the end, an extra lap or two. Um, I didn't need to break there. Uh, just stop to set myself a new target. Because I've already gone nine seconds up on Jay Thompson, which is just silly. Oh, okay, we're going to four wheel drift into the fence. And this is going to lengthen our straight here, so we're, we're going to get a better exit than the ghost. <laughs> Catching up to them. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. Barreling into the fence after a four-wheel drift in this game allows you to get a better time. Oh. 
course, it is still preferable to not hit fences. That's a nice corner, that one, if you don't hit the fence. As is this section. This one, not so much. Shouldn't have slowed down there. Ow, ow. Right, next lap we're going to go back to the slow and steady. We tried a couple of uh, sort of out there ones. We're going to go back, race cleanly. Actually, I'm going to check the times first, set myself a new, a new target. To see what uh, the snap time is. 147.9, so I've got a 145.61. We'll uh, let it save this. I'll just add another couple of laps on to the end. So I'm sixth. Um, that person looks like they've figured it out a fair amount. But let's see if I can maybe take a couple of seconds off and get to that illusion. Uh, I think that's a fairly good target. So I'll set them. Maybe their ghost will be available and I'll be able to race them. Well, this game is... Uh, does have a few little bugs here and there. Things go missing. You know, I, I I had to completely uninstall it. So I thought there was a, it was a very poor design when I first installed it. Because um, half the HUD wasn't showing. Uh, I went into the options and everything and I... Well, half of what I thought should be in the HUD wasn't showing. Uh, even the, the speed which I think is in the bottom right hand side yeah down there none of that was showing even when I selected full HUD um, and I had to completely reinstall the game to get it back up okay could have taken that one a little bit faster although that is what I was aiming for so and steady come in here break stick in here a bit closer Okay, not the greatest. I'm not really getting much traction there. Wish I knew how to do those corners better. And that, that's the reason why I'm not going to get anywhere near that 136 of the guy in front. Wonder is that that ghost the illusion guy? Whoop, whoop. Or is that my personal best? It's my personal best. Yeah, I shouldn't be beating that delusion guy yet. I, uh, uh, not good enough for a couple of seconds. Mm. Especially when doing this. Ninety degree angle triangle. You can never go wrong with a ninety degree triangle. A triangle? I meant corner. You can never go wrong with a ninety degree corner. I probably should have set that lap. Oh, is that that exit out of there was was bad? It would have cost me time on the next lap. Okay, let's see if we can break into the 144s in the next five minutes. We'll go faster there. Ow. I'm going to hit the, the apex earlier there. Let it get a bit more traction out here, but that, yeah. Maybe I should try and straighten it out. Get rid of that turn and just turn it into a, a one great big triangle. Well, that's not going to get me anywhere. We'll try it on this one. Ignore the fact that there's a great big circle and just take it as if it's a, a bit more of a happy. Try and lengthen out the straight. I 
have to slow down as much for this one as I think. Could take that a little bit quicker. Alright, here we go. So remember, it's a hairpin, not this big rounded thing. So we're going to go out here. And hit the apex here. And hopefully that straightens things out a bit. I did get a much better exit than my ghost. I keep doing that. At least I know how to get that corner now. That's a little bit apex, apex, apex. Break a bit later, but I went too wide there. Still going to get away with it. Okay, so we're going to do the same as last time out here. Break late and extend this out so it's one nice long straight. That's better. See, we made up a lot of time on the, on the ghost. Break here. We're going to break harder and not hit the fence. Although I could probably break even even harder still because we've got the the right hand corner after it. Think I can? No. I was going to say, do you think I can go flat out of there? But obviously not. Um, where am I turning next? Is this a? Uh, I just feathered. It was wasn't a full speed corner, but this one is. Oh, that would have been good if it worked. See, I'm pushing the boundaries a little too far. Okay, let's actually set it lap time. Apex, apex, break later, go out here. Get more speed. Went a bit slower than I could have, but... Again, we made it through. Okay, I went a little, a little overboard with that. I like that I found a way to navigate that sort of a corner. It doesn't really work in races though, because no one else follows a similar line. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit wide here. This is going to be interesting. It's not as good. We're going to go the long way. I feel like I can take that one about that speed, maybe, so I've got the exit on here better. here and hold on around these two I shouldn't have broke broke braked still haven't found out the proper grammatical use of that word yet Too late, too late, too late. And on goes the ghost. It's better exit, I think I went oh no. Oh no that that's um with regard to the illusion guy. Did I go faster than my personal best? It would have been very close. If I can get this corner right again. Breaking a straight line. And even though that a little bit wasn't the best I could have done. But okay, we're going to break hard here. 
remember that there's a right hand turn here. I'm getting it down, I missed the apex, but I'm I'm learning the track. Will it be just in time to get into the 144s? Here we go. Got it wrong. Ooh. That was a heavy hit. <laughs> wow, fancy putting a concrete block there. That's a better use of that corner. Stop worrying about all the stuff out to the left. Same with this one. Don't worry about the track, just make your own. Yeah, that was a bit silly. But I think it's still going to be faster because I'm going to massively increase the length of this straight. Okay, got this section better. This should be a good lap if I can hold on to it. The pressure is on. That was a good one. Not 0.7 of a second. I think that's enough to, to get me. I slowed down there because I would rather get through than go a little too ballsy. I, would, uh, I just want to set this lap. I don't want to throw it away. Oh, why did I break? Oh, well, I'm not going to get the 150. See, I just threw away 0.7 of a second. And I still haven't got this corner down. It's mostly because I keep stuffing up before then, so I never get to practice it. <laughs> not good, not good, not good, not good. What time did I get? I can't read it yet. I'm going to restart this because that, that start wasn't very good. Actually, I think we've come to the end, so... We need to go there. I don't know what time I get. It should tell me now. That was a terrible sentence. 144.5. I achieved my goal. I'm happy with that. So I made up... It doesn't tell me. Let's go see where that puts me on the leaderboard. And then, I don't know what you're doing, but I think I'm going to go shrivel up and die in a corner of heat exhaustion. Uh, if you don't mind, I mean, I, I'll... I, uh, it, it was... It, yes, that one. <laughs> Fifth! Again, not that many people play. I should always put that caveat on uh, any of these leaderboards. Not that many people play this game, especially not necessarily this category. But... Uh, I'm happy with that nonetheless. 144.5. Um, if I could do maths better in uh, less than whatever ungodly temperature this is, I give up. I'm just going to go. Uh, I'm happy with that, so I hope you enjoyed watching that. Goodbye. <laughs>